Welcome back. This is part three of Retribution, which is the final level of Taylor Vaniera on hard difficulty mode. We're trying to play it through. I'm on my uh, I'll be your host for this evening and every other evening and every other time I've got free time and feel like talking about Battle for Wesnoff. Uh, anyway, we're on our way through, and at the moment we're we're doing middling well. I'm a little bit concerned that we don't really have the firepower left to get the job done, but uh, we'll see how we go. doesn't help when you keep getting smacked by the shields, the sh legendary shields, just insane in the daytime. And it's still the morning. Whew. Yeah, so I'm pretty much running out of things to say. I don't think there's a whole lot more to say. I think the gameplay is reasonably self-explanatory at this point. Um, but basically, we've got to try and rush forward and take that green keep off that green leader. Um, there's still a number of blue units that are going to make that pretty difficult, uh, although the rest of the resistance is looking pretty light now. So if we can take out those two blue units and sort of get to that green fort between the last couple, before the last couple of guys get across, we should be looking all right. And taking out those two blue units, given that it's still daytime, is the real challenge. Not really feeling filled with confidence here. I've left Phelan out in a bit of a dangerous spot. I'm just a bit worried that if that blue guy decides to go after him, that might actually be all over Red Rover. And the blue guy decides to go after him and... That's all over Red Rover. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is just reload um, from the from the last uh, from the last turn just there um, to show you how save loading works. Yeah. Okay. I'm cheating now, but uh, hey, I guess you don't really want to see me keep replaying it on from the beginning of a level every time I screw up. Because if you did, you'd be here a very long time. So we'll try that, see if that works any better. If it doesn't, then we really are short on the manpower that we need and we're going to have to try again. We are losing those last, those two Tempests um, was really not what we wanted to do. That looks better. I can't imagine the green guys managing to break us there. So we're going to get the fort with... Oh... Well, ow. Oh, that's all I can say to that. Oh, the leader's come out for it. Meet us for a while. Probably can't do enough damage to him right now to take him out of the game, though. Although, what we can do is stop him from recruiting. Get him behind him, sort of thing. Gee, I hate those shield attacks. That's just... Ugh.
See ya, sucker. Yeah, you know what? This is... We've killed him. That's great. Because, I mean, I find it pretty hard to believe that he's going to manage to survive that, to be perfectly honest. So, that's good. That's great, in fact. Uh, can we do it with Vaniera? Probably not. Do it with the other guy. Ah, doesn't kill him. Oh, we'll kill him next time. That's fine. Vaniera can go up here and help Athos take out this guy. Oh! As long as he doesn't get himself killed. Gee. We're not having a great run there, are we? Finally dealt with this propugnator, he says. Oh, yes, he did. Good. That that centurion is that is that is a lucky centurion. Um, oh well, we've started doing it now, shouldn't we? So I was feeling so good about that. Oh well, at least I have a cup of tea to console me. something done, do it yourself. That's Vaniera's strategy. Okay, let's not get anyone killed this turn. Maybe. Okay. Here's the question. Can Vaniera get there? Yes, he can. Now, all we've got to do is clear up what's left of these guys, and we'll be there. Well, we'll be most of the way there. We are going to still have to get across the river and kill the Emperor, but that shouldn't be too hard in comparison to what we've already achieved. He says, crossing his fingers. Hey, and we're cross. <laughs> yes, enemy units don't really know what to do uh, when they've got no health. So he just kind of stood there and waited to die, which is, which is nice of him. It's generous. Come on, Athos, finish him off. Get your little uh, skirmisher buddy to do the job. I kind of want to kill him with someone who can really do the, the experience. I guess it's this guy. 
seems a bit of overkill for a guy with one health. Okay. But still, that's one enemy leader down, and we've secured the fort, so... Things are looking up, guys. Things are looking up. Start intercepting these guys while they're on the uh, on the water. It's definitely the way to go. Oops. My leaf fail in there for a heal just a little bit longer. Get another four farther and wait for another one. A bit of move this time. Don't really want to fight two of these guys at once, so we just sit around here, grabbing villages off them. Even the hero ball will probably struggle with two or two double two units at once. So the emperor, every time you kill one of his leaders, gets more gold. So he gets sort of a bit more defense every time you do it. But you got to kill him. Now, as it is, we've got two days, six and twelve turns left to get the job done. Should get us there, I reckon. Although we are going to be cutting it fine right at the end. Still, it's pretty easy to duck across this river and kill these guys because we got ghosts and they don't. At this point, it's all about ghosts, uh, forefathers. Sorry, <laughs> they're not called. They're not called warrior spirits anymore, which I believe is what they were called. Um, they're ghosts. Uh, sorry, they're, they're forefathers. But anyway, you get the impression. You get the idea. Might get one auxiliary just because there's villagers sitting around here unoccupied. Not really sure what to do with him. Probably not that, but hey, damage is damage. Those uh, spirits sure are useful things to have. That's not how you kill anyone, guys. Come on. You can do it, Athos. The reason I don't want to do it with this ghost is I kind of want to push him across here and start dealing some damage into that leader because we want to kill him off as soon as we can so we can get Vaniera across the river and, um, well, and stop pink pumping out units. Uh, I think that one was slowed, I probably should have kept that in account. Not so good in the daytime, these ghosts, but they're still they're still pretty darn good. Just 
just keep pumping them. And it doesn't seem very sportsmanlike, but we are the seed. We don't really care so much about sportsmanlike, more about getting the job done. Unfortunately, a daytime crossing is still a pretty slow exercise. Not making a whole lot of progress here against that leader. We'd really like to be doing a little bit more damage than that. But you can't really do more than that in the daytime. So I guess we'll just dump some guys over there and slowly, slowly try and kill him. It's not like we're in a rush, really. Still a little bit of time left. But it's going to be a lot easier if we kill him off. Trying to shield my land units a little bit there while they go across. Um, just because they are pretty valuable damage wise, but they're very vulnerable while they're on the water. the hero yes we are uh, so that's no more recruiting ghosts for us that's gonna make uh, it's gonna make getting across the river a little bit tougher thankfully we are most of the way there already but uh, yeah okay that's what happens when you use these guys just as in the wrong time I mean why are you trying to get across the river in the daytime I let myself get rushed thankfully the leaders put himself out in the water so he's dead now um, And we do still have these these level two guys. Sorry, the ghost that we've already recruited. So it's something. That's not a kill. Still, we are almost there, guys. I think you can see how this is going to go, unless you know, we, we lose Athos in the way as well. Um, still, we're, we're going to be up against the deadline. We're going to be pretty much out of firepower, but the Emperor's not a fighting unit, so as long as we can take out the last of his blue guys... We'll be right. Good work, Athos. Double good work, Athos. Hey, you fought the good fight. It was good knowing you, mate. I don't think we actually want to fight those Lavinians with one level 2 unit here. We're just going to make the crossing and be done with it.
Okay, so our ragtag band of elves is across the river. We just got to fight these last blue recruits with the few ghosts we have remaining and our last tempest. And uh, we should. Uh, phew, this is going to be close, but I think we'll be able to do it. We do have Phelan at almost full health. We do have Vaniera, and we do have a last tempest. First things first, we're going to get ourselves some recruits. Not that desperate to kill that guy. Now, the question is, do we have enough turns to go and kill the Emperor if we kill all these guys first? I think we might actually have to break and just go and... You know, I was going to say just send Phelan to go kill him, but Phelan's got his hands full over there. Well, one of, one of our rain dancers in all that managed to make it through to a Stormlord. Unfortunate if we lost Vaniero just here, we'd be feeling really dumb. Thank <laughs> you. 